I'm Danielle Jones Wesley for the Red Carpet Report, and we're at Paley Fest 2016. We're going to talk to the cast of Blackish. We're going to find out some cool things that are going to happen in the upcoming season. Same. So, um, this season on Blackish has been probably the most, um, I guess, socially conscious. Right. Um, is there any moments or anything that you are looking forward um, for the show in the future to tackle? Wow, that's a great question. Um, you know, I, I gotta say, with the episode of Hope, the one that dealt with police brutality, I, I, I still think that that show is, is, there's so much latitude that one can do with that. Right. The reverb of what that is on a, on a daily basis, being black in any community, and walking out outside of what is a safe zone into, I don't know that that's fully explored. I mean, really, we dealt with it, but that's like, you know, we took a chip off an iceberg, you right. know what I'm saying? That, that's a... Uh, so, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm amazed at Kenya Barris, uh, who you'll see in a few minutes, because he always, he and Anthony dip into their reservoir of their lives, their pasts, and it's amazing to me that they can come up with stuff that always, even in the micro, there's an episode in the first season, it was about the nod, where he's with uh, Marcus, and, he, and a, you know, a guy goes by and he goes, you didn't nod at the black guy, and he's like, what do you mean, Dad? Why would I ever, I don't know him. So it's, when you see a brother around, you nod at him. He's like, why would I ever do that? And so the thing was amazing about that. It was a completely truthful cultural thing. Like, that's what you do. Right. And that was a perfect microcosm of what the show's about. We are who we are. We've succeeded. We've kind of gotten to this place. But yet, hold on to who we are. Hold on to what we know and our truth. And so even when it's not dealing with a large thing like the N-word or dealing with a large thing like police brutality, the show always deals with something. Exclusion, inclusion, expectation, real, reality, and that's amazing. I get to show up and just say goofy, goofy crap <laughs> and make folks laugh, so my job's easy. His job is hard because it, the hardest thing is to make the shows be funny and have a reverb. Because if it's just funny, it just becomes Fresh Prince, which is fine. But the thing that makes this show something that I'm so proud of is I really feel it has relevance. It has a relevance to it like and, a and a weight to it. And so people, when you're watching this show, it's like the first sitcom I can think of since All in the Family, since Norman Lear, right. which is probably before your time. I've watched it, though. <laughs> but that show, I mean, there are shows in, in the hour-long genre like The Wire, or like... Breaking Bad, that people like, or House of Cards, like, oh, it's, I get that. It has a, a social, political relevance. But this show has a, as a half hour, has a relevance. So like, they're making an episode about police brutality that is right on point and is funny. I just, that is, puts me in awe because to me, that hasn't been done for, since All in the Family. And, and that's, it's, it's, it's so hard to do that no one's been able to do it since Norman Lear's genius came on the scene, you know. So I, uh, I'm lucky, you know, just lucky to be, a, I'm here to uh, enjoying the snot out of this ride because it's fantastic. <laughs> it's I get to awesome. show up every day and laugh my ass off and go, hey, oh, right, and we get paid. I get a check at the end of the week. It's <laughs> crazy, right? Um, we're like, I know you guys have some really fun, fun moments on set. Um, do you guys do, like, any stuff, like, uh, off script, that's really uh, real most silly. Most of the stuff, no, not, not most of the stuff, but we, the thing about Kenya is fabulous. It's, he's just like, he trusts us all to play. So once we get in what he wants to do, we do play. And guys like Anthony, guys like Dion Cole, oh, and myself, dude, it's so much fun. It's just like, um, can we get back to what we're doing? Because we started with this, and now it's become this, and then it became this. And we're like, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> it's like, run it with it. <laughs> Figure that shit out. Make it make it was funny. So, yeah, no, there's huge room, and it's the most exciting fun. You know, as a as a as an actor on, on a half hour, it's amazing to be able to show up and feel like you're part of the process, and right. not just a puppet saying the funny words. Because there's <laughs> a lot of funny words. Not right. to take it away, but the latitude you allowed, you really feel part of the process. That's a, that's amazing. It's very lucky. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't always happen that way. A lot of people say, no, 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 write this shit that I wrote. That's the funny stuff. And you're like, mm, all right. You know what I'm saying? Color, yeah. Color it. No, with Anthony and Dion, dude, it's just like, it's, it's explosive. And it's fabulous. I love it. 
I love it. I'm very Thank lucky. So nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. If you like our coverage, make sure you click like and subscribe and comment below and tell us who's your favorite TV dad. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. See, look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. Do not be violent. Respect your elders. Oh, God. Hey, I'm Peter. Hi, I'm, I'm Danielle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. a big fan of the show. Oh, great. And your character's hilarious. Yes, hilarious. Are you good?